Hello everyone, my name is Silvana. Um, I'm talking about General Electric today. Um, I'm sure all of you know what General Electric is. You've seen the sign right there, that's mm -hmm. their logo. Um, I'm actually focusing on their new um, digital energy technician, uh, software technician, and then uh, I'm gonna go over um, details over that. And then what kind of a company is GE? It's it's uh, a diverse company, it's an infrastructure company. Name, it, name a product, they make it from aircraft engines, power generation, oil and gas production equipment, household appliances, medical, <laughs> medical um, appliances, business, business and consumer financing, and industrial products. There are so many products that they make that I can like, even fit on here or list them. I'm only focusing on one thing right now, which is GE Digital. Build, connect, analyze, and predict their um, information. GE Digital is bringing the industrial internet to life by connecting minds and machines. So let's say you have um, a company that you want to sell more products of and then you want to connect consumer to it. You bring in your data and then they connect it to their system and that from there you can, can combine what what kind of experience and build innovation and you can you can have anything that you predict to have and in sales and marketing, and um, it will, they will combine it for you. Um, this is where one of their data centers, and um, it's actually in Paris. Uh, so they combine decades of experience building innovation industrial machine with cutting edges data of science and analytical, analytical, analytical oh my god, expertise. Mm -hmm. GE Digital connects streams of machines data to power to powerful analyticals and people. And then uh, it provides companies with valuable rights to ma manage assets and operations more efficiently. That's the whole point of um, GE Digital. So regarding availability, uh, these are these are two other pictures that I uh, found online. This is the oil well that can be more productive with 1% improvement in capital for each year. And then um, over the the total of a year, actually, the total of 15 years, you can have 90 billions. No, I the picture is not like that. Um, and then this, the at the top, this is their power plant that can waste um, less fuel and create less uh, CO CO2. And then its improvement is one percent uh, over, which saves 66 billions over 15 years. So um, the the whole technology is uh, to exchange knowledge, technology, and resources available through GE Digital Alliance program, and then it's growing to network digital founders, um, which is located around the world. It's very new. It was released in um, February of last year, so people are not used to it yet. But there are. I have a picture of all the companies that are um, using it right now, which is very bringing all the valuable um, information to them. So regarding performance, uh, there's a availability of, of the equipment asset and then GEP, APM, which is a financial program. I'm going to go over that as well, which enables um, you to move from reactive to predictive maintenance for uh, peak asset and performance. And then capacity process delivers uh, at a scale to create capacity and enable growth. Um, and then these are the faces behind GE Digital. I wasn't sure what to cover regarding uh, all the, <laughs> the people who they would like to hire, but I added that slide next to the, because I had that done already. Mm -hmm. So um, this is the um, the CEO of the, uh, GE Digital, who is responsible, responsible for all the global IT, as well creating GE's digital thread, um, next, next generation system. and. Um, he has a knowledge of application and knowledge of company business model. And then this is Harold Kadesh. Uh, he's a vice president. Um, the the Predix is part of the uh, GE Digital. I'm going to go over that over that in the next couple of slides. Uh, and then he's the financial the, the chief financial uh, officer as well. So he joined GE where he served as a, a chief officer and founder of GE Digital. So I looked up into uh, two attributes on processes, which is uh, staff software engineer and uh, software quality test engineer. Uh, the software uh, engineer needs to be responsible for design, programming, application module, 
at a large component, which is designing a future set a future as a whole area. And then he needs to have a knowledge of network and software components, software and configuration. And then for a senior software product quality test engineer, knowledge of application, high productive acceptance, and then high security. And of course, knowledge of system software and component where they need to test everything that they need to know the actually like for quality tests, you need to know your software, you need to know your application so you can test it. And then if the test doesn't pass, you can't really go to production where we have like so many phones and uh, software that fail. I think they don't go through it all. We I have so many phones at my desk that just fail at doing updates. And uh, like uh, Apple can't do anything about it. Um, we've taken them to the AT&T store, Verizon store, they can't do anything about it. So I feel like there's not that much testing that has been done on a product. So um, they need to hire more quality test engineers to test the product. There we go. So the Predex is the cloud platform powering the industrial internet. So it combines the scalability of cloud computing, big data management. Uh, this is a really cool picture that I found of it. It combines like everything that we actually use. So there's like the sun and the flowers and there's a plus sign right there. It's a really, uh, yeah, it's a really cool logo for them. So uh, the purpose is to build hardware hardened cloud platform that provides the connectivity, security, performance. So you have everything for your software or your for your business that you can publish on there, then it will give you the information about it. So it you will quickly find access insight available in performance for your, your asset, reduce downtime and optimize um, optimize the scale. So um, part of the GE Digital as well is asset and performance management, which will maximize the potential for your asset. So like, let's say where I work at, we have um, over thousands of laptops that are assigned to different users. Mm -hmm. So some users have like two or three laptops assigned to them for no reason, because like when they returned them, it was never changed or never managed in a way where you could change it and then not have it assigned to the same user. So we use um, Microsoft product, which will let us know which, uh, which uh, user is assigned to which laptop. But if we had something like this, it would probably do it at the dot. So it uses data analytical to reduce unplanned asset downtime, improve reality and then availability, minimize costs and reduce uh, operational risk. And then APM works across all equipment, so it doesn't matter what kind of equipment you have. It doesn't have to be GD equipment. And then uh, across all industries, across all your plants, across all your fleet. I'm sure they've done way many two tests on it. So, and then APM covers the full range of industrial asset needs, machine and equipment, health, reliability, management, maintenance, and all the good things. <laughs> so one of their logo was get connected, get insight, and get optimized. Cool which brings people to the, um, so this is just an IT service that I wanted to cover. They have general benefits of partnership and then sales benefits on onboarding, join opportunities identified by go-to marketing planning, and then there is marketing benefits from the technology and then technical benefits. Free demo, free online training, free vouchers. You can do a training online. They show you a demo of the application itself. Yeah. Really cool. And then this is the service level agreement. So these are all the companies that I was talking about that use the uh, the application as of right now. So there's a bunch of big companies on on here. And then the availability time is 99.9% .9 time. So it's technically nothing when it's like down. They don't want to say 100% because right. <laughs> you don't want to be at 100%. So Maintenance window is every Thursday, 5 to 10 p.m. PST time. Mm -hmm. And then it's 24-7, 365 Security Operations Center and then Security Incident Management. So, which is really cool because we don't have that at work. <laughs> and the end. Wow. Yep.